What is up everyone, I am Deven Cringe, and welcome to Thank the Watchers number 3, the weekly, or at least they try to make it a weekly show where I randomly select up a 5 of my watchers on DA and feature one image from them. So, I got a good lineup of some awesome ass artists for you today, so I hope you all enjoy, and without further ado, let's get on with this, shall we? Okay, so our very first artist is uh, Leo Q. Don't drink and drive. Uh, pretty good advice, I gotta say. A digital art student, uh, Leo Q uh, from the United States. And uh, they've been on DA for six months. And the workout I'm gonna be featuring from them is... Adam, they're OC, and it actually really looks nice for an OC, uh, you know. Like, uh, you don't see a lot of characters, uh, don't see a lot of OCs these days that look... Uh, they look uh, this uh, simplistic and all that. Uh, a lot of them gotta be like really overcomplicated and all that stuff. They gotta have all the overpowered abilities. But not this one. It actually looks pretty simplistic, and uh, that's uh, that's really the charm of it. I gotta say, it does kind of remind me of uh, Freddy Krueger. I gotta say, from the uh, you know turtleneck and the uh, of course the claws. I really do like the expression on the face. It looks kind of funny and all that. Plus the uh, nice red outline actually like uh, fits the character pretty well. You know. Now, the thing that I like the most about this character is, of course, the sweater. And uh, the coloring on the sweater is actually pretty uh, pretty nice, you know. I do like the fact that the red is uh, not really all that bright, you know. Like, you have the uh, typical uh, typical red, you know, like on the outline and all that stuff. But the sweater actually looks kind of hot pink, uh, sort of magenta-ish and all that. Uh, and it does go pretty well. Like, uh, it's easy on the eyes and it's not too, like, in your face. Although, you gotta say, um, you did kind of miss a spot over here. Like, this shoulder doesn't have a stripe and this one does, you know. Adam made the eternal neck himself, a terrible striped pattern, 5 for 10, a personality shy, lazy, easily disgusted. Fun fact, Adam means to be red or of the red earth. I also gotta say I really like that you left the color palette, because uh, if a lot more users left color palettes, World Peace would be that much more reachable. So that's about it, Leo Q, thank you so much for watching me on DA, and I really hope this video gets you a lot more exposure than you already have, now let us move on to our next artist, shall we? So our next artist is called Bloody Knives, 0% happy, 100% crying headache, uh, don't we all my friend, don't we all. A digital art hobbyist, El Pistachio, 15 year old from Mexico, and they've been on DA for 3 weeks, and the work about it we featuring from them is... Bien Pincheraro, and yes everyone, that is the actual name of it, I could barely pronounce it when I first saw it, but I, uh, I think I got to it. And I gotta say, this really looks fucking awesome. I really do love the coloring because it's a pretty good mix of, you know, like, uh, brighter and darker shades and tones and all that. Definitely love the touch on the background, it really uh, gives a nice nostalgic, uh, sort of glitchyish feel, kind of that, uh... Do you remember those really old, you know, computers that were, like, easily glitch out your files and you get all these, uh, corrupted things, so, oh my god. The hair is actually drawn pretty well, especially the uh, subtle curves to make it look all natural and stuff, uh, plus the, uh, again, the mix of brighter, brighter and darker color shades. And the general anatomy actually does look really, really good, I gotta say. The head and the body are really well done, although you could have done a little bit better on the hands. Although, uh, I mean, it's okay, like, we're gonna let that slide because, let's face it, I mean, uh, the hands and feet are usually the hardest to draw, so, uh, I can't fault you too much in that one, like, uh, there's too much good in this picture to actually uh, focus on this. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta say, they, they kind of add to the style, you know, the, the sort of glitchish kind of style, but I think uh, it could have been just a little bit better. But all in all, it's a pretty good picture, you know, like I said, uh, these uh, random looking characters are actually uh, pretty unique and fun to look at, so uh, that's about it, Bloody Knight. Thank you so much for watching me on DA, and I hope this video gets you a lot more exposure than you already have. And now let us move on to our next artist, shall we? So our next artist is called A Cup of Milkway, I really like that name, it's pretty funny. Rated M for Meme, varied hobbyist, uh, Mar, a 16 year old female from the United States, and she has been on DA for just one week and has only one deviation, which is the uh, piece I'm gonna be featuring from her. The work is called Doodle Dump, and I have to say, for a very first post, it really does look good, you know, like, uh, it does look good for a starter. We have uh, some uh, well-known characters, of course, uh, Gur, the... Uh, Amazing robotic psychic from Invader Zim in his Mongoose Dog suit, and of course Aang from uh, from Avatar The Last Airbender. I gotta say, I really do love the art style that you have, like, uh, especially when you look at this character Penelope over here, like, uh, this, uh, this is pretty much uh, one of my favorite art styles, and um, uh, the head actually has a lot of details, you know, like a really nice uh, lighting and all that stuff, uh, very detailed on the face and all that. Plus the cute little uh, bunny teeth that a lot of female characters in cartoons uh, today are actually missing, which is pretty unfortunate. This character over here, um, she does look pretty cool, like, um, I don't know what happened to her arm, but, uh, I don't know, I think she's got a story or something. Although I do have to say that, um, the, uh, the bottom, you know, like, uh, the lower body is actually too big for the character, like, um, the torso and the... 
arms and head like are so small compared to them like you should really you should really try to practice on uh, that part of the anatomy and all that stuff plus um, the feet actually look a little bit too weird uh, this one kind of looks like it was squashed by a steamroller but uh, other than that i do gotta say it, it is actually pretty good for a start like of course it is your very first post so uh you know like you do have a lot of time to improve the coloring is also pretty nice i definitely do love the colors all like over here like on the girl's head, the pants, you can see that uh, it kind of looks a little bit rushed, you know, like the coloring. But uh, of course, uh, you're like a starting artist and this is your first post. Uh, but uh, I, g I gotta say, like, uh, whenever you're doing stuff, uh, never, like, rush your coloring. Always make sure you've... Uh, filled everything in to not make it look like a uh, look all uh, amateurish and all that stuff i can tell you we put a lot of effort in this character right here and it does look good if this is the art style that you're gonna pursue uh, definitely thumbs up because it really does uh, work out for you since this is your first time doing with uh, doing a drawing in this style so um yeah keep improving on that and uh, you'll do wonders so that's about it a cup of milkway thank you so much for watching me in da be sure to keep doing what you're doing because you're definitely going to improve pretty quickly and uh i really wish this video was going to get you a lot more recognition than you already have now let us move on to our next and final artist and our last and final artist is called creepy freddy a little bag a digital arts student uh paulina a 14 year old female from russia and she's been on da for four months and the work i'm going to be featuring her is pretty good and yes everyone that is the actual name of the picture you probably thought i skipped over the name because he didn't give a fuck but i fooled you so i gotta say um this is uh, without a doubt the best picture in in this whole lineup uh, for today because oh my god i cannot say anything bad about this picture it's like everything is just almost uh, almost totally perfect like um i think the only thing wrong with it is that um i don't know i think the top of the, uh, the tops of the horns kind of have like um, unfinished lines a little bit but anyway like that's the only thing like everything else is just so so awesome it's like uh, the coloring the line work the anatomy everything just goes well together and also the shading is actually pretty well done the overall detail on the hair is actually really really cool like um i definitely love the lines over here nice and shiny and all that and the eyes are actually pretty well made you know to have that nice uh, cute little glow and all that stuff and just the overall expression on the face is actually actually very you know like a uh, cute and innocent looking uh, which is pretty much the uh, vibe of the image you know like it's actually made to be this uh, nice sort of chibiish kind of style and all that and of course as you can see like the shading is really well done of course uh, very you know like a uh, natural looking and all that stuff like over here there's more lighting so there's a weaker shadow over here there's less lighting so there's a stronger shadow it all goes together so well you know like i really ju just can't say anything bad about the picture it is just super cool especially the line work i mean come on like uh, the line work is uh, uh, I know that there are some, uh, like I said, on the horns and all that, a little bit of a uh, incompleteness, but uh, definitely a pretty good picture. Uh, also, the coloring, I gotta say, the coloring is just top-notch. I mean, holy crap. You get a fate for this one. Like, a super huge thumbs up. Although I do have to say one little thing right here. I just scroll down, and uh, guess what I saw? Take a look at this. A gift for, um, Bunny Bunny. Hope you like it, and of course, uh, no comment. You know, Bunny, like, if someone actually puts this much effort into making uh, something for you, like a gift, uh, the least you can do is just uh, say a simple thank you. I mean, come the fuck on, seriously. Like, do you want me to make a rant video on you or something? So, Creepy Freddy, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching me and DA. Definitely keep doing what you're doing. Holy crap, this is good. And uh, I really hope this video gets you a lot more recognition than you already have, because you sure as hell deserve it. Well, ladies and gents, that about does it for Thank the Watchers number three. We had a pretty good lineup of artists for this week, although I really think uh, we all know who uh, took the spotlight in this one. Anyway, everyone, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe and press the little bell icon. And as always, I'm Demon Cringe, and I'll be seeing you guys and girls in the next video.